Hello everyone, so before I start this video, I just want to say as with all my videos, a lot of information is in the description, so don't just skip if you get puffed by my voice or whatever. There'll be a written guide, a summary, a summary of all the problems I'm talking about and etc etc in the description, so please read the description if you're thinking about clicking off. Um, so just to start off, the problem that I'll be dealing with in this video is the one I dealt with in this one, how to connect your Xbox 360 controller to your PC. So yeah, the problem is basically when you when you have one of these and then you plug it in to your PC and even sometimes what will happen is it will use the CD to install the drivers but it still won't be recognized like your controller might connect but you the controller won't have like the one light shining up it will have all four just flashing or something like that and that's a sign that you know something is is wrong so I'm going to show you how to get it working Okay, so the first things first, you want to go to google.com and search for Microsoft Xbox 360 controller drivers. So you click enter and then that should take you to this page and click on the first link. So that will take you to www.microsoft.com slash hardware slash blah 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 blah. So once you get there, um, click on downloads, um, navigate to gaming, go to Xbox 360 wireless controller for Windows and select your um, operating system now I'm on Windows 10 but that doesn't matter just select the latest operating system if you're on Windows 8 or 10 which is 7 because it will just run in compatibility mode and that will work completely fine yeah so click on download click keep and then install this software. And now that's it. So now what you want to do is um, you want to plug in the wireless Xbox 360 USB adapter. Then you go to computer um, and right click it and click on properties. So um, you know navigate to this PC if you're on Windows 10 click on properties and um, click on device manager once you're here what you should do is find the unidentified device so for me it's under other devices slash unknown device you right click on unidentified device um, click on properties uh, go to the driver tab and then click on update driver now don't click search automatically for updated driver software click browse my computer for driver software let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer and scroll down until you find the xbox 360 peripherals and click next and then um, find this so find this one the important thing is that it's you're clicking on the Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows so not the Xbox 360 wireless controller via play and charge kit or the Xbox 360 for Windows no don't click on any of these the important thing is it's one of these two Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows or yeah it has to be one of those and obviously click the most up-to-date one unless that doesn't work for you after doing this guide so go back repeat the steps and just click this one um, click on next click on yes and boom shakalaka um, the controller is now recognized so obviously I can't show you that but what would happen is you would hear a ding 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 like you just heard from my computer and the controller instead of being four flashing lights on the guide button um, would have just one selected now a quick, a quick note about this um, every time you change the USB port for whatever reason you have to redo these steps so if you go to another USB port you're going to have to go through this whole thing again but I believe that if you want to use that USB port again then it's fine like it will it will um, you won't have to go through this process every time you take it out and put it back in but if you're changing to a new USB port you haven't done this one before then you're going to have to do it again so yeah that's the end of the video I hope that it helped you and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it more than this one if you don't come back to this one watch it mute it follow these instructions that I put in the guide at the beginning, view audio, whatever, blah, blah. Okay, goodbye. Thank you.